Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and, uh, so, I wanted to make a video about me attempting to build a battleship, and then during one day, I, I was bored, and I went into my creative world, and I just started kind of building. Now, I've added the weapons afterwards, which is why there's not a lot on them. It's got a big cargo bay. I installed the uh, Nanite Factory mod, because, unfortunately... When trying to build something in this size, the build and repair was struggling. And I deconstructed the other ship because we're going to go to space, and it had atmospheric thrusters and couldn't go to space. Could I put ions on it in place of the atmospherics? Yeah, probably. But I want to build a new one. But, uh, so, in here, I've got, these are uh, double stacked. So, there's, the, it's mirrored on both sides, so I only really need to show you one side of the ship. There's heavy armor plating. It's designed to be fairly redundant. Like, I mean, if I lose hydrogen, yeah, it's gonna suck, but it'll be good. So, that means there's 12 hydrogen tanks per side. Then there's a metric ton of oxygen, well, I, I guess they're called O2H2 generators now, which is fair. Uh, let's just, can I, there we go. Oops. Uh, there is an arc reactor, this is the times five, there's one on the other side, and there is additional space for another one. There is a wall of refineries with yield modules, followed by a line of assemblers with speed modules. And that, those white things, was the, uh, the Nanite Factory mod healing me up. So, and as I said, it's duplicate on either side. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the Energy Shields mod, I'm just leaving one in for the moment. But, uh, get. Ten cargo containers here, so plenty of storage. These are the uh, easy gyros. Right here, easy gyroscopes. They're basically multiple gyroscopes at once. So we've got ten of those. There's two gravity generators on the ship. The back of the ship actually isn't really going to have any gravity. It doesn't need to. Um, this is a programmable block for the Tim script. I'm using the unofficial update because actual Tim hasn't been updated in almost a year now and it's a bit buggy and the timer block isn't necessary for it so it's currently disabled. Uh, under here is where the medical bay is and the second shield generator, that one, or not shield generator, gravity generator, which basically allows gravity to the bridge. The ship is not pretty but it is functional. And that thing you see on top is something that doesn't quite work yet. Uh, let's just grab this here. This being the spectator cam. This is a basilisk turret. It's one of the, it's the largest of the energy turrets from uh, the I can't remember the name of the mod at this point, but it's the one that adds the gargoyle and the minotaur turrets. So, that's fun. I don't really know how powerful it is. It should be pretty good. Pretty sure it's not done yet. I. Oh. Oh. Oh my. I lied. Apparently, it is done. But, uh, yeah, I have... Oh, that's just what's shown. Um, go out of the terminal. Get out of the terminal. So I have construction and projection ones set up on it. Kind of want to make a deconstruction, like an entire factory dedicated to deconstruction. And so, as for graphical mods, I have, because of the graphics update, I have removed... Um, the clear eyes one, whatever it was, I can't remember, eyes just got clear, and I 
think I had space just got real put in and a skybox. Had to remove the skybox, had to remove space just got real, had to remove eyes just got clear. I think they work now, but I've replaced those with just screen gunk be gone, I think it's called. So that's a thing. Uh, is there anything else new? Smart turret. It adds a bunch of new options down here. So, yeah. I should be able to basically just have it disable ship's weapons. So then I can scrap them or whatever I want to do with them. Because I had to scrap a lot of stuff around this. Like, there's more here. And there's stuff floating around, but I had to scrap so many things. I basically just charged at them with a uh, frog ship that I've disassembled. And I would stick to them. And I would grind them down with Bob. Which was very laggy. Yeah. But that was fun. And I had to do that for ever because I kept running out of materials for metal grids like I have so many things now look, just, just look at my components I this is with me having killed 200,000 construction components like I keep kept grinding and stuff down I have almost 10,000 solar panels the things I haven't really ground down are bulletproof glass computers displays, girders, and interior plates. I guess medical components. Crammed a lot of stuff down. But, I've got it fully fueled up on hydrogen. As you can tell, I had been harvesting ice. Uh, let's just look at the Tim script up here. Hopefully you can read this. It is a bit blurry. There you go, you should be able to read it now. 12.3 million ice is currently stored. Uh, got, you know, all that stuff here. We've got 19k arc fuel split between two reactors. Uh, each outputting capable of, I believe it's 1.5 gigawatts. Uh, arc. Yes. So, there's plenty of power on that front. I do need to get more uranium. Uh, magnesium is being broken down because I'm uh, destroying or disassembling some ammo and stuff. But uh, I want to try to make it to space. So we've got two uh, 300 millimeter triple barreled cannons. Unfortunately, they only have a 180 degree turning axis and they can't aim straight out, as you can tell. But I do have. Did I put two on the back? I did. So. Uh, the total of eight of the gargoyle lasers. Uh, hopefully their primary thing will be shooting down missiles, which actually works since this update. Shooting down missiles have, has never worked for me before. Let's try the basilisk. I want to see something. Oh, that's not how letters would get typed. Okay, yeah, so it just makes its own ammo, as it should. Oh, well, that looks fancy. Hmm. Uh, I do kind of want to eventually set up, like, one of the custom turret scripts and, like, just build it, like, right here on the back or in the middle or something. Just build up build it up, because the custom turret scripts, there's one that'll just make it function as a normal turret, and it'll automatically handle rotation and everything, which would be pretty fun. Just have a large turret that automatically murders things on its own. But for now, let's see if we can actually get off the planet. Enable hydrogen thrusters, of which there are over 500 of them. Yeah. Now it should be able to take off. I have plenty of them on the bottom. And I have managed to get to fly up some, which we can do it in lower gra or higher amounts of gravity. You should be able to do it in general. 
Uh, I also have a tiny, tiny laser welder based ship chilling in there, and we'll take a look at it once I get. Well, if I can get to space. Okay, yeah, it has plenty of thrust. Look at it accelerate. Considering this thing is made entirely of heavy armor, that's, uh. that's pretty good. That'll help. Disable the inertial dampeners. That'll let me... I'm trying to conserve the hydrogen. Let's see, it's... How far to get to space? Like 27,000 meters? 50,000 meters? I am still using the uh, the gas rebalances, by the way. It has been updated for um, changes they've made. So now my small, small, small hydrogen tank thing apparently still works. Uh, I know it does because I'm utilizing it on that miner, which I had designed after this patch. I will say right now, it's not pretty, but it's functional. That said, I might have to change the laser direction, because it was originally I had designed it for mining ice, and I just put five laser drills on the bottom of this and kept strafing it around to get ice, because it was much faster. But for regular ore mining, I still definitely will need the smaller ship. They were 0.63 gravity. Now, once we get to space, the corruption mod, I believe I have it installed. Pretty sure. It uh, should start taking over and creating things. The ship is pretty big, so I should get some pretty amusing things to come after me, in theory. I'll be very disappointed if I don't. But, uh, still says we're at 99% hydrogen. Um... Yeah, if I had custom sides set up, like groups for hydrogen sides, I would probably see if I could just do a manual override for this to make it stay at a decent speed, but... Maybe a script? I wonder, I wonder if there is a script for planetary takeoffs. I would imagine there would be. All I'd have to do is keep track of planetary based gravity, and it could, once you got out of the gravity well, it could just, you know, set dampeners on and stop its thrust override. And then otherwise it would try to take off without using too much fuel. Look at that. We've actually gone back up to 100 fuel in this process. So I I built this ship in creative mode and blueprinted it. So I had no idea of its hydrogen usage. I now know that it's very, very ready. Uh, I do want to possibly look at finding some good door mods, or maybe grab some of the force field ones that let ships fly through but are technically airtight, and I believe that means they block bullets and stuff too, because I actually want to be able to pull larger size ships out of the hangar bay, and as it currently stands, there's only a four large block high gap, which isn't much. I'd like to be able to increase that. I think I can get it up to eight, and then I can put some decent-sized chips in there, so I can have like a uh, scrapper. Basically, it would use either nanites or just put the nanites on as part of the large ship, 
and just make like an attack scrapper where I just assault a ship. But with the smart turrets mod, I could probably just do that with a ship loaded with gargoyle turrets. Still not quite out of planetary gravity. This rate looks like it'd be close to 30,000 before out of planetary gravity, but that's... that is fine with me. Anything interesting going on? Not yet. I think the one I've installed is at 50,000 meters, those will go away. What I'm gonna do... well... Those waypoints are kind of pointless. So here is my plan. All of these are useless. I don't need them anymore. So I'm going to get rid of these. And once we're out of planetary gravity, I'm going to set a waypoint. Oh, there's an asteroid over there. Is that another Earth-like planet over there? Weird. I thought there was supposed to be a moon. Must be on the other side of the planet. Hmm. Okay. Planetary gravity, go away. Okay, lead. Maybe it'll be closer to 40,000 once it's gone. I do like how there's plenty of hydrogen. I'll just get out of this. Ah! Oh! 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 Everything's good. Still have 12.3 million ice. I believe that's in storage and doesn't count what's in the uh, oxygen or O2 H2 generators as they are listed. And technically that name is accurate. So that's fair. Come on, planetary gravity, just go away. I want to make a waypoint. And why do I want to make a waypoint? Because I have three jump drives, and I want to make a small jump. Oh. Dampener's on. Yes, there's, there's less upwards or less top thrust than there is down thrust. Because you can see these banks of thrusters are much larger, and yet it kind of leave exposed conveyors and stuff down here. And yet, there you can see the uh, the laser drills that we're using for ice skimming. So, new from current position. Planet. Plant. Planet. Orbit. Earth-like. Cool. So, I don't want to make a giant jump. Oh, hey, there's the moon. But, I'm not really interested in going to the moon. Where is the Mars like? Because that looks like a second Earth life. And there should be a red planet. Hmm. Oh well. Make a jump. You know what? Screw it. I'm not even going to reduce the distance. Let's just go. Whoops. I may have opened my helmet. Uh. Blind jump, 157.38 kilometers. Huh. Okay. Okay, so what is seen? There's a planet there. Planet way out there. That is a funky looking asteroid. 
boats thing. I mean, for the sh size of the ship it is, it still technically turns pretty well. But, my god, it does turn like a boat. It accelerates pretty quickly, though. Which was the intent. So, meanwhile, I'm not 100% sure I have corruption turned on. I think I do. It should technically be on. But, uh, I want to go check out this asteroid over here, because it looks funky. I don't have an order checker on here, so I have no idea what's on this asteroid. I have a 50 meter regular one on the small ship miner, and that's it. It's literally designed to be able to use one single laser welder using two times power. Or, two times yield. Oh, of course it gets less interesting as I get closer and the light kicks on. Really, space engineers? Now my body should technically have been scooped up, I think. I don't know. I don't really have anything terrible, terrible value on me anyhow. So, this is the stairs down to this section. And here's the hangar bay. Which, I kind of just threw this in the center, I'll probably move it up at some point. Yellow? Oh no, yellow's collection. So it's collecting crap from my corpse. That's fair. Now, this thing... I had to... The... Oh, oh, oh. The initial designs... Did not have... Tanks on top or even tanks here. These are the uh, smaller ones that hold about 12 liters. I kind of needed more tanks and then I just kind of threw more thrust on afterwards because I could. But, uh, woo, it gives it some pretty good speed. It has spotlights on it. As you can see, like I said, it was originally designed to be more of a downward miner. Uh, I don't... Okay, yeah, there is side ones there. So, I think what I'm gonna do... Oops. Because I'm gonna re rebuild this... Ah, oh, crap. Those are gonna come off. No, 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 okay. Cool. Laser drill. Now if I turn it up this way... It should connect perfectly onto that. I have a repair beacon from the Nanite mod on here. So, anything I build on here, it should just, like automatically build, but I don't really see a point in that right now. And I do have a connector coming out of the floor in there, so this should be fine. I should be able to just park on top of it. But, first things first, toggle block on and off. I need to just hide these. I can see my general fill levels from the UI, so I guess I'll hide those. Hide these. Should have done this before, really. Uh, anyhow, so... 
am I doing? Right, laser drill. Harvest efficiency two times. It can barely support this. Uh, you know what? I have questions. I, I, I turned it up. How far am I from the ship? What? Why don't I see your antenna? Did I? Oh, I accidentally pressed H. I'm 300 meters away, so any changes I make to this, it may or may not do anything to? Can I? Right? Yeah, I can get a light on here. Because I'm having issues seeing where I'm going, and I'm not being a big fan of that. So, let's put some lights on here. Yeah, see the uh, purple? Those are the construction nanites in the whole way over there. This is actually really good. Because I could put a projection beacon thing on here. Slap it on the other side or something. And then I could put a projector on here. And blueprint this. And then if I ever break it out while I'm mining... I can end up in a situation where I'm not stranded. This is one of the better parts about that, that and I find that that mod tends to be more, how should I say, impact, like server impact friendly? Not server, but you know what I mean. Increase the radius, increase the fall off, decrease the intensity. That should be good. Definitely has some get up and go. So that's ice. This is iron. Oh god. I I've just been so hilariously low on iron. And I'm just sort of waiting for. I should check if corruption's working. But it's been going long enough that. Here doesn't really matter. Okay, so how much ore have I collected in that? Cockpit is filled, medium cargo container is filled, other medium cargo container is filled, connector is filled, large cargo container is almost filled. This is why the laser drills are pretty good. side thrusters I didn't put back on. <sighs> Oopsie. And... Oh. Weird. Uh, technically, I should be able to... Oh. I don't have any steel plates. There. Let's just give it a little bit more side thrust. Yeah. Now you can see, just, you know, putting things on it. Things are getting repaired. Like that block that I took that from, I don't remember is now because it already fixed it. I can just head back. Isn't this nice? It feels a little cramped coming in that door though, that's why I need to look into force field type mods.
Another thing, when voting with the Nanite mod, sometimes things don't get ownerships set on them properly. It is a small problem. It does happen. It's fine now. All I had to do was do that. The, speaking of which, did I do that to this ship? Looks like it. Cool. And then I turn off the dope. Suppose I should add these new ones to the group. Turn off that. Do that. Boom. All the thrusters. Yeah. Alright. And then I've got gravity for the important parts of the ship, which is anywhere but the back. I may move that to the back right. And that's a wall of batteries, just for emergency purposes. And then I might put a deconstruct one next to it. So... Or I could put the construction one up here, a projection one down there, and then a de uh, yeah, just deconstruction one next to it. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, the real question is... Are you processing... The screen being up here is really bad, but... Can I put it there? I can put it there! Yay, I have iron coming in. A decent number of nickel, I have like no cobalt. And silver is about a 50-50, and then uranium is total. I need more uranium. Like, I just, I need it. I need to make more arc fuel, which needs more uranium. Performance issues. Blocks update. So what you're saying is you're upset at the size of my ship. Actually, no, it's probably upset at the amount of lighting in the ship. What? Oh, uh, um, oh okay. Just back away from that. But uh, this has been going on long enough, I think. I'm just going to let this sort of float here. I could technically turn these off. But I'm going to call this good for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and one last thing. OBS now supports 5.1 sound. And I have it enabled. So, if you have proper sound hearing capabilities, you should actually hear them now. Because I am recording using the 5.1. Yeah, that's, that's the last thing I had to say. So... Have a good day.